Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? There's great food, but no atmosphere. Fucking nailed it. Welcome to episode one of It's Those Guys You Know. My name is Zach Barry. Some may call me a shot caller. Some may call me a big baller. Occasional tire installer. Here alongside my trusty, dusty, busty pal. Jacob, how are we doing today? Oh, we're doing great. How about you? How are you feeling? Awesome. Do you feel good about this? Absolutely. Are you uncomfortable? Slightly. Are you uncomfortable as I am? Just a little bit. Same. I've never talked to you on a microphone before. I, I haven't. Well, I have, unfortunately, but yeah. you know, we'll get there. So, on this podcast, we're going to be going over some things. We've got some segments. We've got some some news. We've got some sports. We've got some ball stuff. Th- some ball stuff. Yeah, some some from some fancy ball stuff. So, the first segment that we want to jump into is the news section, which we like to dub "The fuck are we doing?" That's a great question. Thank you. So, so first news quote of the day. We really got to dive into this one because it makes me it makes me all girly inside. So, fifty three year old Shirley Espronzinos decides to take her service peacock and tries to board a plane. Thoughts? I mean, just what what's the thought process well, there? If I ever left the house with a peacock, I wouldn't get three feet out the door before somebody comes over and they're like, Zach, what are you doing? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? And, like, you hear people that try to pack their dog or their cat in their suitcase. Right. But, like, peacock? A peacock. Did she bring it in the cage? And, like, my other thing is... If you have a dog, you have a cat, you have a service dog, you have a service cat, whatever. Like, you pet the cat. Right. You pet the dog. Nobody's petting their peacock. Uh-uh. What do you do with a peacock? It's probably just squawking in its cage. Why like... do you own a peacock? Exactly. That's the number one That's question. That's the biggest question. I mean, I... are they pretty? Yeah. But how are they... I mean, I guess they could be calming if they got colors and stuff. Maybe. That, maybe she needed it. Maybe. It a service bird. A service bird. Yeah. It could be a service bird. I don't know. I've just never seen a service peacock. No. I don't know anybody that owns a peacock. Mm-mm. Where do you buy a peacock? Great question. Do you just go to the zoo and you're like, hey, I, I like that peacock over there. Exactly. I'm going to take that one. Who and knows? What do you think the average price of a peacock is? Um, I don't know. Uh, half a million dollars for a peacock? Could be. I, it's probably one of those things where it's either five bucks or it's like 50000 <laughs> You know what I mean? Like it's... They could be the most common bird that no one cares about, or it could be the most exquisite deluxe. Like you're looking and life. you're like, what's that one? And they're like, oh, that is the very rare De La Guajito peacock. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a $30,000 peacock. And you can only buy it if you have a name, the likes of which is Shirley Espronzinos. Espronzinos. That is a, that's a peacock-owning name. You read that for... name, you're like, that lady brings her peacock she... <laughs> on the plane for vacation. She cannot be separated Could from you imagine plane. being on the plane? And seeing just this lady walking with her peacock oh, onto the plane. Oh, my God. I wouldn't even know what to think. <laughs> All right. What's the next headline, Jacob? All right. I got a good one for you. Okay. You hear about the McDonald's manager that threw a blender. A blender. A blender. Yeah. At a disgruntled customer. I, I heard something along the lines. I didn't. I don't know the details, though. Okay. So, manager threw the blender at the customer. Hit them in the face, right? In the face in with the, the blender? In the face. After the customer threw three sandwiches back, claiming they were incorrect. Now, I've heard, you know, we've all been in a McDonald's in a fast food restaurant where the the person's order gets screwed up. Right. And they walk right back up to the counter. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me see the manager. But I have never. No. Seen or heard of someone throwing the sandwiches back over the counter. Not one. No. No. no, Not not two. Not ever. But three sandwiches. Three and, like, I want to know, like, was it all at once? Like, was it, like, a buckshot type thing? Or was it, like, one at a time? Like, sling, there you go. Was it, like... Take the McChicken. Take the McDouble. <laughs> I don't want any of it. Was it, like, the scene from Elf where he's just loading the fucking snowballs and just continuously throwing all that, three of them? That's what I'm picturing right now. So, I'm picturing Will Ferrell dressed <laughs> as an elf just slinging McChickens slinging, across the counter. Slinging McDubs 90 <laughs> miles an hour down the fucking pipe. Oh, yeah. So, uh... As a customer service representative, mm-hmm. as in myself, 
I can't tell you how many times a day I would want to throw a fucking tire at somebody's face. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Especially if somebody came in to me and threw something back at me. Well, like, realistically, they're going to be throwing the tire at you. <laughs> so, however, I have had customers come in that throw keys at me. Really? Oh, yeah. Like, we brought their car in to do something, and then the, and then it leaves, and it, it's like it something gets mistaken. Like, you know, they th- – say, for instance, for randomly, they had four tires in the back of the car, okay? And they wanted a snow tire changeover. To me, that says you want four tires in your car. But I don't ask the general question, hey, how many tires do you want in your car? And they come back in, they're like, I only wanted two tires on my car. I've had a guy throw his keys, it hit me in the chest. Really? Like, and, like out of anger? Like, out of anger, he was like, I wanted two tires, you're going to fix it, and you're going to do it now. Wow. Yeah, and uh, threw his keys right at me, hit me right in the chest. I was about to pick him back up and throw him back at him and uh-huh. say, no, I'm not. But they, they hit me in the chest. They fell on the floor. I had to lean down and get him. Mm. By the time I got up, he was gone, and I had to adjust my pants because I was terrified. Uh, that sounds like a really humiliating it, it, it is. So, like, experience. I understand where the manager's coming from, you yeah. know, when you, when you want to hit somebody with a goddamn right. blender. But, yeah, that break back to the headline. Yes. He returned fire with a blender. <laughs> You give me three sandwiches, I raise you a blender. I raise you, I raise a, raise blender. you a blender. Look out, because it's coming right down the pipe. Oh, absolutely. I want to see the guy's face. I want to see the guy's face. It had to have been met. Was the blender on? Was the blender full? May- what was it full of? McFlurry? It probably just got all over him. It had to have a been. A big mess. It, what a... Clean up on aisle 13. Clean up out front. Somebody come get your man. He has no face. Yeah, there's McChickens everywhere. We got cheese, pickles, the whole nine all over the walls, <laughs> the ceiling. There's McFlurry on the floor. That's amazing. So, And then Shirley comes in with her peacock. With her and peacock. she's like, I'm just trying to get a McDouble. I want a Happy Meal. <laughs> Somebody get my peacock a chicken nugs. <laughs> yeah. Like, she needs her nuggy nugs. So, speaking of going to McDonald's and blenders, I was at a McDonald's not two weeks ago, right? We're driving into a McDonald's, me and the old lady. And it's like 9 o'clock at night. She's sound asleep. We're on a ride home. And I go, I want a milkshake. I want a fucking milkshake. Naturally. Naturally, 9 o'clock at night, who doesn't want a fucking chocolate milkshake? Exactly. So I pull in, and I put the blinker on. I pull into the McDonald's drive-thru, and Destiny looks at me. For those of you who don't know Destiny and my fiancé, she's not here right now. She's over there. So... (laughs) (laughs) We pull in and she wakes up. What are, what are we doing? What's going on? And I'm like, I'm just getting a milkshake. Don't worry. She looks at me in my eyes and says, I hope the machine is down. And I'm like, what a, what a bitch move, first off. Like, rude. Yeah. I pull up. They come right over the mic, right? You know how they do, always. Welcome to McDonald's. Welcome to get you. And I go, yeah, can I get a chocolate milkshake? Oh, oh my god, we are so sorry. The milkshake machine is actually currently down. I lost my shit. Oh, I can I can imagine. Lost my shit. To the point of where I then stupidly out of my mouth go, Well, I'll just take a McFlurry. And they go, no, sir, that's the same machine. Mm. And I sped off in pure anger. Going to find a blender. Right. To throw to right throw back, back at, these at people. them. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Because goddamn McDonald's doesn't know what they're doing at 9 o'clock at night cleaning their machines and shit. Like, how could you not, as the manager of that McDonald's, anticipate that Somebody's your patrons coming in. are coming in at all hours of the day to get right. a milkshake? So I heard, I heard from a former McDonald's employee, they clean the machines at 8 o'clock. Really? After they clean the machines, if they do anything else with them... They gotta clean them again. They don't want to be cleaning it. So twice. they don't want to be cleaning it twice. They don't want so to be they're cleaning like, oh, twice. sorry, the machine is down. They just don't want to fucking clean it again because uh, they're lazy. Likely excuse. making seventeen dollars an hour working at McDonald's. I know it. Now we're attacking McDonald's. Exactly. So you gotta start firing back. You gotta start a- throwing. Amen the- to the guy that threw the sandwich yeah. over the counter. Yeah. You like, gotta make a. You gotta draw a line in the sand. You really. We've really gone from both ends of the spectrum. We yeah. Were, we were on the manager side. Now. Yeah, but once you. Now once I'm you, thinking uh, the other way. Once you put the shoes on. Wait. <laughs> the shoe fits. Once you put the shoes on, you lace them up. Yeah. You get them tight. This is the way it goes. Exactly. I understand. I, I'm picking up what he's putting down. Yeah. Not the not the sandwiches. No. They're, not picking that up. Not picking that. That's not probably, picking up the blender. No. I ain't even picking up the guy's nose because uh-uh. that's gone for oh, it's sure. Be. It's for sure. Be. 
So speaking of uh, people getting hit with things in the face. Oh, no. Do you hear about the Texas church shooting that happened a couple Too of weeks soon. ago? Too <laughs> soon. Yikes. So we're getting defunded so, already. <laughs> so you want to know. So, okay, you've seen the video. Oh, yeah. You should have seen the video. Who hasn't seen that right. video? So, first off. If you haven't seen that video, you're going to you gonna want to watch it. You're going to want to watch it. It's it's a good read. It's, it's definitely it's not for children. Not for children. R-rated. NSFW. But it really, o- really opens your eyes. Yeah, not safe for the work environment Absolutely. either. Absolutely. So, for those of you who don't know, let me give you a quick... Let me give you a quick play-by-play. So There weren't many plays. <laughs> there was about three plays <laughs> yeah. made. That's it. So this this guy. I, I don't know what the hell his name is, but he's standing over in the corner of this church, and he stands up, and he's got a big trench coat on. And You know, that's that's the red flag. That's right number there. one. Why is he in church? Because clearly this is the first day he's ever attended church. You don't know Christ. And he's wearing a trench coat. And like, he's come on. wearing a trench coat. You don't go to church in a trench coat. You go in a goddamn pea coat. They, they were probably an accepting people. Yeah, They probably didn't want to judge him. Not anymore. Yeah, look what happened. Not anymore. So the guy stands up over in the corner and he, I'm talking, pulls out a Fortnite-sized shotgun. Cox, boom! Takes out one guy straight to the chest. Reloads like a fucking champ, if I may say. I mean, like, like he didn't even, he didn't do like the typical, I'm in the woods, I'm going to like cock the gun back. He grabbed it by the cock. <laughs> <laughs> grabbed it by the cock and just went, K-tush! boom, and got a second guy. Now. Out of the corner of the video, all you see is this other guy stand up, pulls out his pistol, and from, uh, he had to be 20, 30 feet, 20, 30 feet away, boom, one shot to the dome, yeah, oh yeah. drops the guy. Oh yeah. Now, best part of this video, right, is a couple of things. So for number one, I love how, now like this guy's a hero. He, Absolutely. He saved a fucking church for sure. Absolutely. However, if you watch the video like past the point of the screaming, because like I get to the screaming and I just don't want to listen to it anymore. Uh-huh. If you get past the screaming, there are five other dudes that come into the room with pistols. Really? Like he wasn't the only guy there with a gun. I didn't even know that. Yeah, if you watch it again, there's like four dudes that come out and they are they're all like cocked up, ready to go. Yeah. So like Clearly, this guy was going down one way or the other. Absolutely. Uh, and, and also, not to get, like, super political, but I guess, like, I don't know if it was months, years ago, whatever, like, the governor of Texas or whatever was saying, like, guns are legal in churches. Like, mm-hmm. you're allowed to have them. Uh-huh. And everybody was fighting him, and they're like, no, 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 no guns in churches. That's that's not God's way. Right, right. I'm just saying, if that had passed or something, there'd be a lot more people dead, I think. Absolutely. In my opinion. So, good on that guy. Yeah. Secondly, or thirdly, this guy is a hero, granted, right? Uh Uh-huh. But you know, like, three to four years from now, he's going to be sitting around his campfire at camp, right? He's going to look over and be like, so did you guys hear about that one time at church? And they're like, Jesus Christ, Dave, we know. You fucking shot the guy. Like, we saw the video. You told us about damn hundred times You've told us a hundred and thirty times now. We know what happened. Right? So... Good on that guy. He did a good job, I think. Yeah. I think up next we've got a segment that we like to call... You want to know what really chaps my ass? So, let me just put something out there. You want, Jacob, you want to know what really chaps my ass? I do. I want to hear. People who walk not on the fucking sidewalk. Well, what are you, what are you talking about here? I'm driving the other day. There is a guy walking beside... The sidewalk. Not on the sidewalk. Beside it in the road. It's there to walk on. Yeah. Like, that's why they put it there. It's there for a reason. They clean it. Yeah. They, I mean, they might not do the best job, but granted, I'd rather be walking on some flushy fucking... Some slushy fucking snow than next to a goddamn Toyota Corolla that could take me out at the fucking knees. Exactly. Like... I just, I don't know what the thought process... If you are a person out there that is walking down the road, not walking on the sidewalk, you're an idiot. He's asking for a death sentence. You're asking to get hit in the face with a blender. Yeah. For sure. Oh my... Yeah. Truck, for sure. A truck size blender. A truck size blender of sorts. Blender with an eight-cylinder twin-turbo engine coming at it. Coming out of goddamn 1500 
a double heifer, yeah. if you know, a whole lot of gumption going on <laughs> in one of those, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Whole lot of gumption. I gotcha. So what do you got, Jacob? Anything chap your ass this week? You know what? Tell me. There is something. Hmm. There is. And I don't know if anyone out there is having the same problem. You, you tell me if you're having the same problem. Tell me. But I cannot, for the life of me, yep. figure out how to reclaim my car's extended warranty. <laughs> Let me tell you. Tell me. I, I didn't even know that you I had, had one, one on right? my car, but, but this lovely lady uh, lovely, get, calls me up yep. probably about four or five times a week mm-hmm. telling me about my car's extended warranty. Right. And every time I ask, well, well what am I supposed to do? She hangs up. She's but, like, no. But then same lady calls from a different number <laughs> the next day. The next day. So I'm thinking... Wow, all the agencies must know about my car, and they're like, we got to let this guy know. About his extended warranty. He needs warranty. to know, because this is a big deal. It's, it's, and if he doesn't reclaim this, like, pronto, bad things are going to happen. To him, his car, everything. Exactly. But I, I just can't figure it out. I don't know. I, so, coming from the automotive industry, uh-huh. you want to hear a funny thing about the the, the extended warranty. Yeah. I'm going to give everybody a quick secret. No. There's no extended no. warranty. No. It's all a lie. You're telling me that I'm getting scammed. You're getting scammed. Is this some kind of robotic lady doing a pyramid scheme? Trying basically. To, oh, basically. Should have known. Basically. You want to know a funny story, though? Yeah. We just bombed that guy in Saran. And where did we bomb him? Iran. Iran. Uh-huh. Have you gotten a phone call about your extended warranty yet? No. It's well, would you look at that? It's because they're all in Iran. That's the that's the real that's thing. What they, I'm saying. they always talk about Iran funding terrorism. That's the real <laughs> yeah, terrorism. That's right the there. real terrorism. The terror to my comfort and my peace <laughs> of mind. My phone goes off and I see this fake number and they're t- telling me about my car's extended warranty. Sometimes they get creative. Yeah, Sometimes oh, yeah. they're talking about my outstanding student loan payment, yes. which I don't have. Which you don't they're have. Talk- one time, one time they were getting crafty with me. They yeah. told me I, they had a warrant out for my arrest. No. Like, oh yeah. No warrant. Warrant, and I need to call them back to get a lawyer pronto, ASAP pronto. Did you call? I tried. <laughs> You're like, the, I gotta yeah. get to the, I get to get to the bottom. I, I gotta know. I, I was like, so, why well, they coming for me? Because I haven't reclaimed my, I haven't reclaimed my car's extended warranty. Yeah, they got a warrant out for me. They got me. a warrant out for you for extended goddamn warranty. Well, thank you. Thank you to our armed Forces. service members. Thank you for taking out the number one cause of phone terrorism but, in the United States. Maybe all terrorism. Honestly. Honestly. T- thank you for taking out the extended warranty people. Yeah. Because if you didn't know, the extended warranty workshop directly next to the Iranian terrorists' apartment headquarters. Yeah, headquarters. Yeah. yeah. They live right next to each other. They, yeah. They oh, usually. Yeah. They usually go out on Thursdays for dinner. I heard, mm-hmm. so I'm glad we. I'm glad They're we took care cahoots. of that. Yeah, no more cahoots. No more. No more cahoots. No. No more cahoots. So, is there anything else that's been chapping your ass recently? So I got one more that really, really chaps the old pasties. If yeah. you know what I mean, really puts a lot of chafing going on in the ass area, and that is people who don't sit the fuck down. You know what, what mean, I mean? What, what do you mean? So, okay, so for instance. If you're at the pharmacy and yeah. you've got to get your pills, of I course. get it. And you're just standing in front of the counter. As a customer service person, that irritates the shit out of us. I know what you mean. Okay? I know if what I you come mean. in and somebody wants something done in their car and we're doing work on their car, I have a waiting area with chairs. Yeah. That sit. is saying, sit down. Sit down. Because we you, get a TV. We get a water we get a fountain. TV. I got a Roku. Make, we'll make you comfortable. I got a, I got a Roku. I got a Keurig. I got toys. Oh, jeez. Do something. You got coloring books? I got coloring books. Bring in the whole family. Crayons. Oh, people bring their make, whole family. Make it a day. Of, make a day out of it. Make a day out of it. Why don't you? But sit your ass on the plastic, okay? You standing there looking around, just standing. Oh, I'm just looking. They're thinking if I'm standing here, he's going to notice me. He's, he's going to notice guys, me. Guys, we're going to move on. And this customer means yep. business. They're not even falling for the crayons trick. Nope. They're not sitting down. They don't know. And let me tell you, I'm going to fill you in on a quick insight. If you are one of those people that stand up and you're walking around and you're thinking, if I'm standing here, he'll look over and say something. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not even looking in your direction. I'm doing everything I can to go the opposite way of you and ignoring everything that you want and everything that you need yeah. because you need to sit down. 
I've had it. And people can argue. They can say, well, where's the customer satisfaction? Right. The customer satisfaction is over in the waiting room. Yeah, over in the, the waiting room. the comfy chairs and the coloring books and the crayons and the Roku and exactly. the Keurig and the TV. Exactly. People who sit down, I applaud you. I thank you. I get your work done faster because I don't want to upset you, the good paying customer. They are the unsung heroes. Unsung heroes. Heroes. Absolutely. Unsung I heroes. don't even work in customer service, and I'm behind you 100% but you know, on this one. you know. 100%. Because like, I, I go and I sit down in the chair. Exactly. You play it's on the your phone. It's the respectable you thing You play to on do. your phone. You look at stuff. You do it around. Yeah. Now, granted, my place that I work at, I won't name where. However, the place that I work at, we do have a window that you can look in the garage. Right? Yep. Now, granted, if you want to take a quick peek, that's all right. You know what I mean? Stand up. Go take a look. Yeah. That's fine. I don't care. If you're standing in the window while I'm doing four control arms on your car, four tires, and an alignment that takes four and a half hours, who the what the fuck is going on with your legs? Why are you so powerful? Why can you stand up all the time? You have to be a mixed martial artist. They must be. Because if you can just stand for four hours and stare, not only are you not blinking, you're barely breathing. Sit down. I've had enough of it. Sit down. There's a reason the chairs are there. Put them there for a reason. I sit in the chairs. Exactly. I the built chairs, chairs. want to get sit in. I built those chairs with my own two hands. Exactly. Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. What do we got next, Jacob? That was a good segment right there. That was a good yeah. segment. What do we got for our next segment? A segment we like to call... Let's talk about some balls and stuff. Balls and stuff. This is a segment where we talk about sports. Oh, here we everybody go. Everybody loves sports. Oh, yeah. Big sports news of this week. Tom. Tom Brady. Oh, Tom Brady, the Patriots. Like it hasn't been covered enough. Took a devastating loss against the Tennessee Titans. Uh, Derrick Henry, I mean. Was the Titans. The man could. The man might as well have ro- ro- run? Run? Ridden? What do you do? Ran? ran? What's the ran? plural of run? Ran? Randed. He might as well have randed all the way to the other side of the goddamn country. Yeah. The way that he was bulldozing, like. Husqvarna or Caterpillar need to hire this guy to come out and start advertising their oh, stuff for bulldozers. Literally. This guy didn't stop. Could not be stopped. It couldn't be stopped. You could have armed every one of the Patriots linemen with a friggin' blender. With a blender? With a blender full of bricks. With and a blender and a sh- peacock. Shucking it at his helmet wouldn't have stopped him. Wouldn't Stupid. have phased him. Stupid. So so that was tragic. So that was terrifying. That made bad, us really sad. Bad day to be in New England. Uh, I mean, talk about the upsets. I know. Minnesota taking New Orleans. I had New Orleans going all the way. Both six seeds. I had Both New Orleans seeds, going all out. the way. I know it. But Drew Brees, like, he didn't do anything. No. Dude, he got his elbow tickled. He got his weenus tickled by a <laughs> defender, and he threw the ball backwards and fumbled it. I know it. What are you doing? Like, way to be dramatic. What are you doing, Drew? Mm. He's supposed to be one of the best. I mean, yeah, he hurt his fucking thumb like six months ago, and he was out for six weeks with a thumb injury. You puss. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What else? Who else Don't won? get me wrong. I'm not one to criticize. They're yeah. the professional athletes. They're making millions. They've I'm been, sitting on the couch. They've been doing this a long time. I'm sitting on the couch. But, I mean, that's kind of the point of being a fan. you have, yeah. you got to critique them sometimes. Exactly. Because, like, what are we supposed to do? Sit exactly. here and not talk about it? Exactly. Texans and Bills. I had the Texans going anyway. Yeah. Not all the way, but, I mean, I had the Texans going over the Bills. I just don't like the Bills. But, oh, I mean. I mean, could you? Deshaun Watson's nasty. Yeah. DeAndre Hopkins, nasty. Uh, let's see what else. Seahawks and Eagles. Yeah. Uh, I hate the Eagles. Same. Not only because they beat the Patriots, but I was telling you like like the other day, like Carson Wentz is in there. Carson Wentz gets hurt. Nick Foles comes in, wins them a fucking Super Bowl. And what do they do? They're like, actually, Nick, here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to put you over there. And, uh, we're going to put you in the waiting room with the color in books we'll while we talk to room. Carson. So why don't you go sit down yeah. and we'll talk to you when we need you. And Nick's like, no, I'm standing up. I got shit to do. Yeah. Send me to Jacksonville. Not the best decision in his in his shoes, I don't think. No, nope, Did he I get mean, hurt? I don't I don't even know. I think he's out in Jacksonville. Yeah, because uh, what's his name? Minshew. Yeah, Minshew Gar- Magic. Gardner? Yeah. Grandner? Yeah, Gardner. What the hell's his name? Gardner. He's, he's in because Nick Foles is bad. However, like... I, I, why would you not stick with the guy that won you the Super Bowl? I don't get That's it. That's a great question. I don't get it. And I mean, as much as I don't like the Eagles either, I honestly, I genuinely felt felt bad for Carson Wentz what happened in that game. That was kind you of baloney. That was a little baloney. Got hit with the crown of his helmet. Yeah. Jadevian Clowney. Led with, led with the helmet crown. I, I mean, mean I, I, granted, have I ever played professional football? No, no. Me either. Have I ever have played high school football? Barely. But like... I feel like if if the quarterback is diving 
and you've already kind of committed to falling on them. Right. Like, gravity is a some bitch. Yeah. Like, once she, once you. she starts grabbing and pulling, you can't really come out of it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, all he would have had to do is lead him with his hands, push him to the ground. He was already going to the ground. Yeah, all he had to do is kind of extend his hands. It almost looked like he went full swan dive, hands <laughs> at the sides, lead with the helmet. Screw it, let me throw the helmet on. I'm just going to pin this guy yeah. into the turf. Yeah, kind of a dick move by Jadavian Clowney, I will say. But, I mean, I get it. I oh, get well, it. it's football. It's football. You got to let him play. You got to let him play. So. But, yeah, after that happened, no surprises there that the Eagles couldn't pull one out. No. I mean, you saw the guy they put in for him. Josh for, McCown. Yeah, 40 years old. Josh McCown, hasn't he, where did he go, where did he come from? Didn't he, he play for the been, Bills? He's been all over the place. did he play for the Browns? All over the place. Like. He was bad. He's still in the league, though. Has he ever started? I'm not sure. Or has he always kind of been like a backup, and then somebody gets hurt, and then they bring him I th- in? Yeah, I think it's one of those situations. I want to say that was his first playoff appearance. It was. Yeah, it was his first was. playoff appearance. And he was just thinking, I was just excited to get in the I'm game. I'm just excited to I be there. Win or lose. I mean, I'm 40 years old. I'm no Tom Brady, but I'm happy to just be in the game. I want to know what an Eagles fan is thinking when they bring in Josh McCown. Are you like, all hope is lost? Or you're like, hey, we might get it. We might we might do it with Josh McCown. I mean, it didn't he, happen though. Even if they made it this week, who? If the Eagles would have won, they would have played San Fran. I think so. Yeah, they would have played San, San Fran. Would have slapped. Yeah, them. that's just a death sentence. Jimmy G would have pulled out his fucking Jimmy G. Yeah. And slapped him in the face with it for sure. Yeah. Now the big topic is Tom Brady. Of course, Tom's not going anywhere. Let's. I hope. don't think. Let's hope. I saw a thing today. You know what Tom Brady said today? What'd he say? Tom Brady was thanking all the people that work at Gillette Stadium. Yep. And he said, because that's where I'll be next year. Really? Yes. That's what he said in an Instagram post. Direct quote? Direct quote. I saw the Instagram post. I don't remember seeing him say Direct that. Direct quote, like, I at the bottom. Did. Let me, let me, let's find it real quick. Direct quote at the bottom was like, because that's where I'll be next year. Or that's where I'll be from now. I don't know what the hell he said. Hang on. Let's fucking bring it up here. Right here. Here's Tommy T. Tommy B. Uncle Bobby B, baby. Uh, right at the end, he goes, in both life and football, failure is inevitable. How humble. Yep. You don't always win. You can, however, learn from that failure. Pick yourself up with great enthusiasm. That's and right. place yourself in the arena again. Yep. And that's right where you'll find me because I know I still have more to prove. Well, here's the I thing. Mean, that he does say arena. arena. He didn't say which arena. He didn't say which let's arena. Hope, let's hope that he's talking about July. Yeah, because I people are saying he's going to the Chargers. I heard something that he's going to Carolina. I know it. One... Tom Brady lives, he, I think pretty sure he lives in Massachusetts somewhere. Oh, yeah. So, what's he going to do? Uproot Giselle and the whole fam family right. and go somewhere? I mean, it's happened before. Yeah, but like, when was the last time you saw quarterbacks or any sports personality spend almost 20 years in a place and then go somewhere? Brett Favre. Where did he go? To the Vikings. After playing Green Bay his whole career. Yeah, but didn't he retire? After playing for the Vikings. No, he played for Green Bay, then retired, then came back for the Vikings, right? I honestly can't remember. Yeah, it's it's been a while. Fuck. But I know he did it. Well, fuck. And they didn't really appreciate it, I can tell you that much. However, however, Green Bay, that you know, that's in Wisconsin. Right. Just to go over to Minnesota, that's only <laughs> a hop, skip, and a jump. You load up the Winnebago. You're right. And you go 30 You're feet right. to the right there. You're not talking to move from coast to coast. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You so that couldn't, there. you know what I mean? Like, it may have been like an extra 40-minute commute to fucking work. But right. still. So that's all up in the air. But what I can say is, is that it seems that, like, Tom Brady is not taking a hometown pay cut again. No, sir. According to He sources. straight up said, like, yeah. I... So those of you who don't know, if you've been living under a fucking rock like Patrick Starr, Tom Brady... Is like the twenty third lowest player on the Patriots. Lowest paid. Lowest paid. Yeah, like, I believe um, it. Almost towards the bottom because I believe it. he takes pay cuts so we can afford better people. Exactly. And then this year, did we get like, any better people? What a team player. Did we we, tri- we tried. Who? Oh. A B didn't work out. Granted, let me say something about A B. Did he go do and like probably like almost sexually misconduct a trainer? Maybe. But didn't they say Who no? Knows? Didn't they say he didn't? I don't even know. I stopped following the second he was let go. But the moment, like, they let him go, and then they kind of talk about it, and then it faded out, bring the man back. Right. Like, did he... He wanted to come back, too. He wanted to come back. Did he go and fuck around with a fuck around? Maybe. (laughs) But we don't know. And the NFL don't know. Bring the man back. Yeah. I mean, we can't now. It's already goddamn too late. It is. I mean, we had Josh Gordon, too, which, you know, like, stop smoking weed for a day. Right. Or, like... 
just all you got to do is stop smoking weed from like October to February. That's it. Right. You got three other months to fucking go for it. You got the off season. You got the whole off season to smoke the dubs. Right. I dumb, dumb, dumb. I don't get it. But I don't think Tom Brady's going anywhere. Yeah, let's hope. Let's I don't think hope. Josh McDaniels is going anywhere either. I don't know. I've I don't heard, like how people keep saying. I've that heard Josh he's been McDaniels. entertaining offers. I said he's been like going to Cleveland and all this other stuff. Which, if Tom goes somewhere, I guarantee, it, uh, dude. I think it will be a, watch this, cataclysmic Ooh. event if Tom Brady leaves. Tom, Absolutely. Tom Brady leaves. I mean, Josh he's, he's been the cornerstone of the foundation besides yeah. Bill Belichick. I'm telling you, but. if Tom Brady goes, Josh Daniels is definitely signing somewhere else. Bill's going to retire. And Edelman is going somewhere else, too. Well, I mean, you think about it. Those three pieces right there, maybe not so much McDaniels, but we'll include him for the sake of conversation. You, yeah. you remove those three... From the organization, what do we have? Completely different team. Yeah, because oh yeah. you got a new head coach, a yep. new quarterback. Yep, that alone is a is huge terrifying. shift. Yep. Huge shift. Yep. I mean, that could take the Patriots from being the dynasty to being the, the next, the next Browns. Like, yes, like it's scary because like like at, we growing up, the Browns were trash. Right, and now they're just starting to like actually show signs of life. Yeah, and I fear like that's what's going to happen to the Patriots. Well, that, that's kind of what they were before Tom Brady stepped into the picture. Right, like 2000s. they were okay. I think, I want to say they made it to a Super Bowl or two. They lost either one or both of them. With Bledsoe? Yeah. Yeah. They had at least one that I can think of. Yeah. But, I mean, long before our time. But they were never really anything until, like, early 2000s. And now they've been at the top for almost 20 well, goddamn years. Two whole decades. Two whole decades. As long as I can remember, it's just been top dog. Right. And then, so I mean, like, if if he leaves, I, I yeah, it's gonna be sketchy. It's gonna be sketchy. So this week playoffs. Let me let me bring it up here, and we'll make some quick predictions. NFL schedule. Let's see what happens this week. So we'll go right down the list. Vikings and Niners. Who are you taking? Niners. Niners all day. They're gonna Niners. stomp. I hate Kirk Cousins. Yeah. I just don't like his name. He's a puss. <laughs> Stephon Diggs, I don't like him either just because his last name is Diggs. He reminds me of a fucking Pokemon. You got a big thing against names, huh? I got a big thing against names. Yeah. Jimmy Garoppolo, nasty. Class act. You, already, you know he fucked a porn star, right? I did not, but it doesn't surprise her me. Her name's Kiara Mia. Go look Re- her up. Really? Biggest boobs I've ever seen. Really? I've ever seen. I mean, sounds fitting of a starting quarterback. Exactly. But, like, she is, like... I mean, she's fake looking. Like, she's, she yeah. looks like a porn star. Yeah. But, like, they went on a date and then they fucked. Right. Good for him. I'm pretty sure. So, that definitely going the Niners. You know play. that he was the one settling in that situation, too. That's what's yeah, crazy Oh, yeah. It. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Oh, my. Look at him. I mean, no homo. He's a stud. Like, I'm in a room with him. I'm in a, I'm in a room with him, and he says, is this the part where you take your clothes off? My clothes are coming off. <laughs> Absolutely. My clothes are coming. I'm naked before the door closes. I don't know where you came up with that quote, but I, don't know. I, I, can, I, can, I can agree with you there. Like, I'm, I'm butt-ass naked. 15 minutes in, into the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. The things I'd do to trade lives. To trade lives with Jimmy Un, G. Unspeakable things. Him or Tom Brady, honestly. Oh, my God. Honestly. Tom. I mean, you think about what Tom Brady's got at home. Giselle. Yeah. The kids. His wife. His mom. And he's making out dad. with all of them. He's ma- <laughs> 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 you think him and Bill Belichick have ever kissed? Oh, God. At least once. Maybe. At Maybe behind once. closed doors. Maybe behind closed massage parlor doors with Robert Kraft there, too. Maybe. It's, they, get the big, they get the big three get all in the, in the same room. Yeah. So, it's the bonding activity. Let's see. Titans and Ravens. Ravens are fucking destroyed. I don't see Titans. anyone taking down the Ravens. Dude, I think the Ravens are going all the way. Yeah. Lamar is just nasty. I'd like to see Kansas City beat them. I wouldn't mind More than likely, it's going to be Kansas City, Baltimore, in the AFC Absolutely. Championship. And I would like to see Mahomes take it. Honestly, though, so let's... I mean, we can easily agree Ravens are taking the... Ravens take the Titans. That's yeah. Pretty, okay. Yeah. Texans and Chiefs. That's gonna be a good game. Deshaun Watson. That's gonna be a really good game. Good. Yeah. Well, because in a way, Watson and Mahomes are kind of comparable. Right. They can both they pass. Can, they can both run. Yeah. They can scramble. So very similar offenses. And the Texans just got JJ Watt back, and he it, it, the dude's a fucking monster. I mean, it goes without saying he's an animal. Yeah. I just I don't know Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and who's their running back? Kareem Hunt. Hunt? Hunt? We'll look it up after. We'll look it up after. I can't remember if they do it. Anyway, I think they yeah, they're gonna be fine. So and then Seahawks and Packers. This is a good game. That will be. Aaron Rodgers I'd have to put my money on the Hawks. Aaron Rodgers is amazing. 
always has been. He's good. Yeah. He's like a younger ish Tom Brady. Like yeah, I mean it's kind of apples to oranges there. I mean they're both fruits. Can... <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Just one fruit can throw on the run a little bit better. Exactly. Tom Brady, you keep him in the pocket, throw for days. Yes, Tom Brady outside but the pocket. If you make him scramble, get out of the way. Yeah, it's game like over. just kill like, him. Yeah. Uh, Russell Wilson's nasty. He is. And Marshawn Lynch. I mean, you can't. I know. You can't it. put it up against Marshawn. And you Lynch. can't tell me they're not on a redemption tour for Super Bowl Forty Nine after that a horrendous just throw. I mean, the play call let's above bring it, let's, all else. Let's let's fast forward and say they make it to the fucking Super Bowl against they're the Ravens. On, they're on the one-yard line. They're on the one-yard line. You got Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. Pete Carroll has stated multiple times... That that was the right call. That was the right call. And, and not, what did he do? What would he do, Jacob? He would do it again. Do it again. So I... I See, dare him. I dare you. Dare him. I dare to you. To do that again. One yard line. You are down by a touchdown. I dare 20 you. 20 seconds in the fourth quarter. I fucking dare you do it again. Watch Double what happens. dog dare, Pete D- Carroll. I triple dog dare. I put 500 bucks saying you don't make that play. Triple dog again. dare. Give him the pickle. Exactly. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Our last segment, which we like to call, you seen that shit? Is something that we'd like to recommend a TV show, a video game, a movie, a book, I guess? I mean... For you readers out there. For you readers. I don't read, but... You got anything to recommend? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of not up to date on the newest shows and freaking movies and... No? What things, was the last good thing you watched? I mean, we watched, watched the new Star Wars. Holy that, that goes without saying. shit, Star I mean, Wars. definitely some mixed opinions on that. I've heard. From what I've seen. Very mixed opinions. What it seems, you, what it's like either you things? love it. Yeah. Some people love it. Yeah. Feel like it's probably the younger people, you know. Yeah, I mean, like our because they see flashing lights and explosions, and Ray uses the They're like, Whoa! Right. But then you got the old, the n- nostalgic fans that are. This is trash. They they hated it before they even watched it. Right. And they like, go and they're like, "This is just a garbage. bunch of pussies," in my opinion. This is garbage. What did you think? I mean, as someone who grew, I mean, I was a kid when the prequels are coming out, right? Yeah. So though you could say those are the ones I grew up on, right? And a lot of people even thought that the prequels are trash yeah. to begin with. I personally didn't. I, I can see the argument for the first two. Revenge of the Dude, Sith, though. Episode 3 could be... Uh, it, it's in, still my favorite. In my opinion, episode 3... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What were you saying? Sorry. <laughs> episode 3 and now episode 9. Episode 3 is the best Star Wars movie of all time. Honestly. Sorry. Best lightsaber duel. Sorry. Without a doubt. However, episode 9... It is up there for me. Like it could, it might have. It's pretty. It's pretty. It was pretty good. It may have passed. What was what's number six? Empire Strikes Back. Empire Strikes Back. Which one? Six. Return of the the Jedi. Jedi. Yeah. Return of the Jedi was amazing as well. It was. However, always the third, the the last three of each episode six, episode three, episode nine are the three best. However, I'm pretty sure, in my opinion, Rise of Skywalker bumped it to another level. Yeah, and and I will say too. I appreciated what they did in that movie because I feel like, I mean, I can't say we can universally agree, but I feel like a lot of people think that eight, the last Jedi, yeah, not good. The only not very good. The only twinkle of a goodness that was Episode Eight was the fucking Star Wars ba- lightsaber battle, Kylo Ren and Rey against uh, Supreme Leader Snoke's people. That was a good scene. That was one of the... That was second, in my opinion. That's second on all-time lightsaber battles. But apart from that, I mean, the movie, I just... I couldn't... It had a different director. I, I didn't like it. It was weird. Right. It was and, rushed. I wasn't and what they did to Luke, I mean, come yeah, on, like, on. Like, they made they turned him into a hermit. They and made, he hated the Jedi. Like, like give why? me a break. He's amazing. Let right? him be amazing. So with that being said, with all the... I guess you quote unquote mistakes they made in that right. Force Awakens, or whatever. What I liked about Nine is it did a lot to like reconcile that. Yes, and it helped answer some of the questions because a lot of people were saying like, "Who is this Ray? Like, who is she? Or who are her parents? parents? And how is she so good yes. at everything? Yes. Right off, because you look at all the other protagonists. Yep. And the prequels, you know everything about them. You had Luke in the originals, yep. and you know they weren't naturals. No, it, it took them a while. They had to train. Yeah. They had flaws. She just you have Ray. Boom. I can't think of one time she ever lost. No. Beat Kylo Ren episode seven. She beat him. Thrashed him. She beat him episode every time. Every time. She thrashed him. You're talking a scavenger girl with no training. No training. Just figured out what the force was five minutes ago. Five minutes ago. And she takes down like the biggest badass in the galaxy. One of the biggest badasses in all of Star Wars. So like that, 
Big flaw, in Big my flaw. opinion. Yes. So, them making her a Palpatine kind of... That makes sense. It helped like, to make up for it, because, like, okay, that's where, you know, all her strength, whatever, My only from. thing that I didn't like about that was... When in the fuck was Emperor Palpatine out at the bars slapping asses getting ladies to go have a kid? That's what I'm saying. Like, where... where who? I mean, you give it to the guy. He was a big name. He was a big guy. Senator, I mean, Chancellor, Supreme Chancellor. He was the Senate. Exactly. So, I mean, all he had to do was just walk in and be like, so, I am the Senate. When you got that kind of power, you can walk up to a woman and just flaunt that. You flaunt, can do whatever Flaunt the, the pocketbook, and then you're probably... Yeah. In the, you're you're, you're signed right up. That makes so, sense. So, I mean, not a whole lot of explanation there, but, like, I can see it. I can get it. I, I get can it. see how that would happen, I My, suppose. My favorite thing in Episode Nine was when they did... When all of the Jedi from previous movies... We're talking to her, and they yeah. got the actual fucking yes. actors yes. to do it. But did you hear though that they re- they shot the scenes with Hayden Christensen, aka Anakin Skywalker, aka Darth Vader, right. Ewan McGregor, aka Obi Wan Kenobi, aka Ben Kenobi, aka yep. General Kenobi, uh huh, and Samuel L. Jackson, aka Mace Windu. Yeah, they shot and scenes, Liam Neeson and Liam Neeson. They shot scenes with and them, many others, and they were like, nah, nah. We're just no, we're just we're just gonna do the the audio. I couldn't voice. imagine the theater uproar if they would have come oh, on stage. I, I would have came right out of my seat. I'd have been naked. In yeah, yeah, I mean, no question, no question about it. I mean, that just would have been the biggest play they could have made in that movie. I don't, it, know, I don't know why that would have sealed that the deal for me. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, oh well. So, I got one recommendation, and that is The Witcher. If you haven't watched The Witcher on Netflix, you have to go watch it. Tell me a little bit about that. I haven't, I haven't really heard anything about it. We watched Game well, of I've Thrones. I've heard it's good, but I have We watched Game of Thrones. Right. You loved Game of Thrones. Up, I mean, up until. Up until. We're, we're not we're talking not, about we're not gonna That's a different about. episode. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a different episode yeah. down the line. We're not going down that road. So, The Witcher is like... If they wouldn't have put the title The Witcher, and they would have put the title like something game of thrones it it would have worked that's how good the show was really because not only did it, it just looked like something that would have been game of thrones like granted it's that old style like mages and wizards and shit Magic like that and... but it's just it, it, my weirdest thing if when you watch it and it's not a spoiler really nope it is a spoiler and i'm not gonna tell you never mind let me okay. keep it it, it just it, th- what i'll say is it kind of fucks with you like, you're watching, 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 and then all of a sudden one thing happens, you're like, wait, what? And then it starts to pick up, and you're like, holy fuck, that's been going on this whole time? I didn't even know. So Sounds like a good show. It's a damn good show. Henry Cavill, a.k.a. Superman, uh-huh. is amazing in this show. Amazing. Amazing. He they, plays he plays the Witcher. Do they have it on Netflix? It's Netflix's actual show. Like it's, oh, no It's kidding. a Netflix show. It's That's the only place it'll be. I gotta stay up to date with these Boobs things. in it, too. There's boobs. Really? There's boobs and vaginas. Wow. One Normally, chick, that's exclusive HBO stuff. One chick literally gets her cervix cut out. Really? Is that the... That's the... That's basically your vagina, right? Yeah, I'm. it's up in there. It's, it's, it's part. That's like the thing that, like... It's the tube. With the fallopian tubes attached. The tube in the fallopian? Well, like, there's fallopian tubes, but the fallopian tubes are attached to a thing. That's right. the cervix, the right? The thing, and it transmits the doohickey to the, and makes a baby. Y- yeah. Right. Yeah, the things that shed the walls. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. She gets that cut out. <laughs> Yikes. And you watch it happen. That sounds painful. Oh, oh my gosh. She is screaming the oh, whole time, as, as expected. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, there's boobs. Uh, Henry Cavill shirtless. I mean, who doesn't want to see Superman shirtless? I mean. And he's way hotter in this, too. No homo. Like... <laughs> like as Superman, like Superman looks good, but he's got the gay little like curly yeah, thing yeah, there. Oh, yeah. This he's got like bleach. But he's got white like Targaryen style hair. Okay, that like goes down to the chest. And he's always like got it wrapped up in a bun. So he just looks like a fucking tank, and he's fucking awesome. <coughs> Great show. Great show. I'm gonna have to watch. Also, there's a guy named Yeskir. Is his name? Oh yeah. And it's just that dude is hilarious. It's like they bring like modern day comedy into it and it makes it 10 times better. Oh, I got one for you. Tell me. You know that humans are the only animals that enjoy spicy foods? Shut the fuck up. I swear. <laughs>